Despite all the advice to eat right and exercise, disturbing new research suggests critical health messages aren't getting through to children or their parents. But as our health specialist Jennifer Tryon tells us, a one-of-a-kind Canadian program is helping kids detect the symptoms of heart disease before it's too late. Fellas, you over here for height and weight? No shoes required in gym class today. Instead of basketball, blood pressure and BMI. Step on that scale. Instead of getting coached, these kids are getting cholesterol tests. In five minutes, I will be able to give him the results and explain to him what it means. Every year, every grade 9 student in the Niagara region gets a visit from the nurses at Heart Niagara. And Michael, we will have your results in five minutes. They're looking for kids with clogged arteries. They have real-time results. Corey has no idea what his cholesterol level might be. That's the point, to tell teens like Corey exactly how healthy or unhealthy their hearts really are. This is actually a critical time to come in and make them aware that the choices they make do have some long-term implications. Because already, even at this age... I am 14 years old. The results are disturbing. Their study has found one in five teens already at risk. The blood tells a story, and it can tell them what the risk could be in the future. One in six already have high blood pressure. One in seven already with dangerous cholesterol levels. Both are key risk factors for heart disease. Poor physical activity habits, uh, greater use of screen time, uh, TV, computer, video games, Uh, poor nutrition habits, drinking a lot of sugary beverages. So many kids needed help. Last year, Niagara Heart sent more than 700 letters home to parents, warning them their teens were at risk for heart disease and to do something quick. We would like their parents and their practitioner to know that they're at future risk. And it's not just teens in this region. I think that that the Niagara region is probably representative of of any uh, school district within Canada. Back at the testing table, Corey's results are in. Playing football has paid off. We're at 3.89, so that's good. But this is the only program of its kind in Canada. Corey, like every other Canadian kid, wouldn't know where they stood if gym class hadn't been taken 